The LSP Halfback is a rugged and versatile spinal immobilization device that provides vertical lift capability without the need for a separate spine board. Uh, the unique device allows for rapid spinal immobilization as well as vertical extrication uh, of a patient to remove them from confined or elevated spaces. There are many common environments that a product like this would be uh, ideal for, and that includes construction sites, uh, lower decks of marine vessels, uh, storage tanks on trains or on boats, as well as many other environments, uh, really anywhere where uh, rope rescue of a, of a patient may be needed that it has suspected spinal injuries. Uh, what makes the LSP halfback unique is that uh, it combines the capabilities of a full body harness as well as the ability to mobilize the patient if uh, spinal trauma is suspected. The device is really interesting because it consists of two main parts. Uh, the first of which is the full body harness um, and then secondly and independently there is a removable backstay. And uh, the two-piece design has some distinct benefits. First of all, when the backstay is removed, it makes the harness easier to put on the patient uh, if they're in a confined space as they usually would be when they're injured. Um, and so because it's flexible, it can fit around the patient and you can do this with minimal movement. Secondly, having the uh, immobilization part of this separate from the body harness part allows uh, in risky environments, high-risk environments like oil rigs or something like that, uh, the user can actually put the harness on uh, and use it as a full body harness at all times. And if injury occurs, uh, then immobilization becomes just as simple as uh, putting in the backstay and just uh, tightening the straps. So it's a very unique design um, and it's intended, like I said, specifically for um, immobiliz immobilization of a patient where, uh, in a confined space, where vertical lift is going to be needed. The halfback comes neatly stored in its uh, storage position. The first thing that needs to be done is to remove the Velcro straps to free the leg straps. Once the leg straps are free, the device can be opened up and positioned underneath the victim. The vessel will be inserted until uh, the sh patient's shoulders are aligned with the shoulder straps. Next, you'll take the torso uh, portion and undo the torso, the red torso straps, um, and connect the top strap uh, with the top buckle. You'll note that both uh, the top and bottom torso straps are both red, and the buckles of these straps are color-coded. The top one is black, and the bottom one is bright silver, so they can't be mixed up. You're going to attach black to black, silver to silver. Once the torso straps are attached, you'll then attach the shoulder straps. Again, these are color-coded buckles. Bright silver goes to bright silver, and <clears throat> on the other shoulder strap, black buckle goes to black buckle. Once the shoulder straps have been applied, you'll then go and apply the leg loops. Now the leg loops will go from the outside of the leg around behind the knee and inside um, to make a sit harness loop. And you'll notice a buckle at an angle, again, color-coded, black buckle to black buckle. And on this side, it'll be a bright silver buckle. Um, and again, you go from the outside of the leg to the inside of the leg to create a sit harness type configuration. And again, you'll connect silver to silver. And once those are tightened up, you're able to attach the head harness spine immobilizer. I've taken the head harness off uh, just for ease of demonstration here. The back stay is then slid into the pocket in the back of the vest and attached using the velcro straps. Once the head harness has been attached and tightened down you'll then want to immobilize the arms 
so that they don't um, come loose during the vertical lift process. This, uh, these are done with the thin Velcro straps that are on the side of the torso. Once those, once the arms are mobilized, you will then use the two D rings in the middle of the chest to attach the vertical lift strap. Again, this is the allied vertical lift strap, but uh, you can use any vertical lift strap that you have with your department. And as you can see, as uh, the patient is lifted, he maintains a vertical body uh, position because the legs balance out the rest of the body and he can be safely lifted uh, from his location. This has been an overview and demonstration of the L720 vertical extrication device.